during the feature, handicaps in reverse of their track point. So let's paint a scenario for you. Say, for instance, in uh, one of the heat races where the 100L Steve Pellis was a winner, and say he was. In the number 71, also a newcomer with us is Chris Hartman in his beautiful number 32 machine, a Chandler chassis built out of New York by one of the Shangri-La street stock regulars up in New York. Chandler chassis with Chris Hartman behind the wheel of 32. Outside again, the number four is a brand new machine here. First time ever on the asphalt, a Limbered Speedway dirt runner is Dalen Foot out of Somerset. Outside of him, Johnson. Carter Jack Freeman, green flag held high in hand, brings it down for a start. And look at this race fans, the New York driver thing. Look at that, takes right off for the lead. Rendisi, meanwhile, one of the fastest cars out here, is boxed in traffic. Here comes Rendisi on the low side of Rayleigh, and he takes off in the third place. You can see we're going to have a cat and mouse game between the two Shangri-La runners. Rendisi on the high side of Johnson takes over his neck end. Now it's up to Rendisi to try to close the gap here on McGuire in the 51, and I'll keep a time distance on that. Right now, Rendisi's 1.8 seconds behind Eddie McGuire in the 51. I'll keep a close watch on that. Rendisi still about 8.1 seconds behind. Starting to close the gap now. I got 1.5 seconds. I'll tell you what, see that other seven out there? I could have sworn when I saw that car come into the pit. 
on opening day and then a practice that was a New York car. But nope, that's one of our guys from Sykesville, Pennsylvania. Brian Bruce here today. Normally he drives number seven. Now Rich is in a 76 Chevelle as we get oh, one more lap for the green. Starter Jack Freeman says one more lap with that signal holding the green flag like that. Rich Todex on an Endicott New York in a 76 Chevelle three fifty five under the hood. Here we go out of four. Green flag's going and we're racing. Rooney takes the 07 with The New York driver makes his presence known and is grabbing that lead. There he goes! Once again, one of the New York drivers takes off of the lead, Tom Gush. We'll try to get a time on him, see how fast he's going, because he could give Brindisi some problems this afternoon. He's a beat that's a beat on the Bob McMillan in the 33. And Keith Miller in the zero. And it looks like Miller and the Camaro takes over second. Here comes Mark Cable. Cable's got that big Ford Torino on the move. Cable now fourth, now third, trying to fight in second on the rail. Here he comes out of the fourth. There's Cable with car a little bit loose. But he hangs on to it. In that 75, Ford Torino, as he starts to try to stretch it out over Miller to zero. And now we'll keep uh, time on just how far away he is from our front runner. Right, right now, it's 2.7 seconds per cable behind the number one machine. Now working out of turn four.